Alright, what's up, YouTube? Jake320 here again. Making this video because I want people to know what's going on with me. Right now, I really don't care. I want to tell people about this juggle, this juggalo right here, me, being um, incriminated and being charged with felonies and misdemeanors. Yet again, I'm not supposed to talk about this because it could ruin my court case. But, you know. I share my shit. It's public knowledge. I, people have the right to know. You know, you can look it up online. What is that? Mom and son assist in a runaway. Northern Mankato Free Press, Minnesota. Whatever. Now, I'm being, me and my mother, Juggalo and Juggalette, are being charged with assisting in a runaway. Now, we're facing two felonies. Two misdemeanors. Each. Each of us. So, yeah. She gets two felonies, two misdemeanors. I get two felonies, two misdemeanors. It's bullshit, right? Now, they say that we were taking rights away from a parent, or, um, she was, this girl was in a foster home, whatever. We were taking the rights away from them, whatever. Okay. This is back on December 8th when this all happened. This girl was running away because of she was going to be placed back with her parent, her mother, and a pedophile, from what I'm told and what research I know. And she was scared to go back and didn't want to go back because I guess the boyfriend of her mom molests her, touches her, whatever. And, you know, obviously she didn't like that. And the court was probably going to place her back. And she told us the court was going to place her back with them. Okay. Now, December December 8th, Minnesota, it was 45 degrees below, right? Not including wind chill, it was probably about 60 below. Now, this girl been talking to me for a long time, I've known her for years, says, you know, hey, I'm going to be placed back with my mom, and, you know, the sex offender, child molester, whatever, pedophile, okay, now I've known about all this bullshit for years, she's reported it to the police, you know, mom calls her a liar, says it's not happening, now, in my opinion, the mother's scared, not to say anything, whatever, he probably does the same shit to her, I don't know, either way, she didn't want to go back. Now, we decided, or my mom decided, you know, my mom's a little crazy. Actually, she is crazy, but decides, you know, yeah, we'll come get you. Now, this girl's running away regardless of whether or not we're coming to get her. Now, she's three hours away, roughly. Mankato, to Little Falls is like three hours. Or northern Mankato, sorry. It's like three hours, right? So... I'm already gone. I, yeah, I've stayed up for like two days straight, you know, had some drinks. Okay? Not a lie. It's like six, seven o'clock. We gotta be down there by midnight because that's when she's leaving the house. Whatever. We get down there. This girl has got tons of shit. She's got two bags of clothes. She just got blankets. She's got pillows, you know. Now, this is where things get funny. Now, if we didn't go and pick her up, right, 45 below, 60 below with wind chill, within a couple hours she would have been dead, right? She had nowhere to go. She had nowhere to go. She was just going to run away from her replacement home, right? So, yeah, I know, by the way, I'm talking too fast because I want to get it all in this video. Because I want Juggalos to know what's going on with this low right here. And my mom who's a light. We're both badass by the way. Do anything we can. Take our shirt off our back and give it to somebody if they need it. I've done it before. Homeless people have actually taken off my shirt. Whether it was a high CP shirt or a jersey or something. Been like here man you need this. And gave it to them. Okay. Anyway. So. Like I said she would have been dead within a few hours. You know or she would have got picked up by somebody else who would have you know. God knows done what to her or, you know, killed her or raped her or molested her or whatever. Raped, molested, same damn thing. 
and she could have been in a ditch frozen, dead, you know, torn apart, missing for a while, right? Pick her up, bring her back up to my house, right? We're going to bring her to the courthouse, social services, talk to them and be like, what do we do, right? Well, it was two days. She was here for two days. Now I looked online, there was no um, missing persons, you know, no runaways, nothing. I looked multiple times, nothing, right? So I didn't think she was reported as a runaway. And you know, she was safe. She had a shower, food, being taken care of, whatever. She was happy. You know, I'm the happiest I've ever seen that girl in years. And I've known her for like two, two to four years, roughly. So, you know, bullshit, right? Well, not bullshit, I knew her, but just bullshit. So then, you know, officer comes to my door, knocks, you know, is this girl here? Yeah, she's here. He picks her up, whatever. She's crying, bawling her eyes out, you know, telling this officer how she's so scared to go back and what her, what this guy will do, does to her and what he may do to her, may not do to her and her sister or whatever. And the cop just, like, blew it out of his ass, you know. He's like, well, maybe you can get some help, you know, tell somebody. And she's like, I have. Nobody believes me and this, that, and the other thing. And, you know, I like this cop, honestly. He's not a bad guy. I have no respect for law. But this guy's not a bad guy. He's not an asshole. He will try to help you in any way he can. You know, if you need help somehow, he will point you in the right direction, right? I have no problem with this officer. Well, he picked her up, whatever, and then we get court papers, you know, saying we're going to court, we're being charged with these two felonies, you know, child endangerment, whatever. And I think this court case is kind of bullshit due to the fact of, you know, she's not dead. She was safe, she was given up willingly. Running away kids run away all the time and end up at people's houses and they don't get in fucking trouble the people that you know have them there they don't get in trouble the kid was safe being taken care of fed you know etc but we're being charged with felonies and misdemeanors because you know we did what we thought was right to help protect a child you know help protect her and her well-being because she is scared and she was going to run away regardless of whether we went to pick her up or not. Do you find that kind of funny or fucked up? I want to know opinions. Honestly. I like comments, but if you can do a video, do a video and make it in response to this video. Because I want to know people's opinions. Because I find this kind of bullshit. And I can't... I'm fucking poor, man. I can't afford a lawyer. So I'm doing with this with a fucking public defender. Fucking sucks, but I really wish I could get a lawyer if I had the money. Because I could get this court case fucking thrown. And I'm still going to try and get it thrown because this is bullshit. And I think my public defender is kind of worthless, but we'll find out. So, at court on the 17th of next month. We'll see what happens there. Well, June. I don't know if it's June yet. Either way, yeah, I have court then. 9.30 in the morning, I have to drive down there with my mom, because she has court that day, too. So, but yeah, like I said, opinions. If you can do videos, do videos, and make it in response to this video. Hey. Watch motherfucker week, I love, whoop, whoop. Take care, be safe. Cherish what you have for today, for it could be gone tomorrow. Peace.